So this sample, uh, I sometimes when you look a code like this, right? Uh, so sometimes I begin to look at things not necessarily at the beginning of the of the sample, but try to understand what it's trying to do. Like I see that there's plenty of indentation, and in the center of all of this is this while loop, right? So the while loop basically says read the line, okay? So occasionally. If there is, uh, if something happens to this input stream, uh, the read line could give you uh, a null object, a uh, reference, uh, null reference to an object. So a safe way of uh, doing this is just to say, as long as this line is not null, basically keep processing it. And so there, um, uh, we have this loop where we simply echo the the information that we just read so this this specific example just by looking at this loop i conclude that we read some input stream uh, line by line and echo it back to the screen okay that's what we do all right so now let's try to understand what this uh, input really is so the input is created as buffered reader so let's take a look at the hierarchy. Here it is, buffered reader. Okay, it's using a uh, new buffered reader. Not a surprise, and it's using the file reader, right? And of course, it takes the 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 path uh, as as an um, um, as a, as an example. I mean, the the file as a, as as an object to, to construct the file reader, right? So, and beyond that, we just use it as the way we already described it. Uh, we want to wrap it in a try and catch and try to catch the input output exception where we can handle the error. Other than that, we just uh, uh, proceed forward. Now, notice the advantage of, remember that the file reader can take text, okay? Uh, can take take text with the relative path or a full path to your file, but notice the advantage of using paths and the path object that you can then s you can instantly find out whether that path exists. And if it doesn't exist and you're about to read from a file, you can just instantly tell the user that uh, that file doesn't exist. Okay, so this is an advantage that you can do some preliminary checks on uh, paths uh, before even attempting to open that file. Of course, the opening the file will, will, will generate an exception, file not found exception, and that's okay. But you also may want to use what you can do with path to find out whether the file exists even before opening the file. All right, so just, uh, just an interesting uh, type of example. Uh, so uh, another uh, look at the hierarchy. Remember today we're trying to focus uh, on the uh, on on these objects that that you may expect uh, to use when processing character files. So uh, we're just going to elaborate on on that today. All right. So generally, uh, another name for all of this is character output streams. And so once again, we have this version of the Kyari, which gives you a pretty nice, let me just actually increase the, the size of it, and you can see what the functionality is. But I think this print writer, of course, is very impressive because it has all kind of prints and print lines for all basic uh, formats, uh, like the primitive data types, which is very important, and it includes the string, okay? And of course, it can be ex extended because it also takes an object. So if you override an to string uh, uh, method in your class, you can customize conversion to string, and print writer will be able to do everything very efficiently, okay? So this is one of the uh, writers. Uh, other, uh, other members of this uh, hierarchy, of course, is the buffered writer, which basically says uh, new line, which will write the new line, not read the new line, but rather write the new line, and uh, character array writer. So instead of having to write a string, you can have an array of characters. You can write that, okay? 
uh, filter uh, writer is just a, a, just an abstract class. Uh, pipe writer is for inter-process communication through pipes. Uh, you can you can essentially redirect output from one process to another process, and that kind of uh, connection is called uh, pipe uh, pipe I/O. And so there's a pipe pipe reader pipe writer uh, that corresponds to that. The string writer essentially just um, uh, basically an object that uh, converts to string. Right, so it just converts to string and writes uh, in form of strings. And output stream buffer is just uh, uh, another helper which is used again. If output stream writer here, output stream writer is one that we already inherit from because we use the fright writer when we work with our, uh, you know with our files. Most likely you're not going to use output stream writer but rather just say file file writer and the file writer will be uh, inheriting from it. So no big deal. Uh, so it's it's but it's it's good to see all of this on 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 the same picture. Of course my screen resolution is terrible. Uh, your screen resolution should be better. If it's not better you should buy a new computer. Uh, right. <laughs> so uh, but uh, it's uh, it's all there so you can, you can you can refer to these uh, things occasionally. Okay. So let's move on. Uh, so um, uh, once again, this subset of hierarchy of Java API classes is for uh, just for uh, explicitly dealing with character input and output, and you need to choose the right objects to be able to uh, to say uh, what my problem is, what problem I'm trying to solve, and what should be my choice uh, to use here. Unbuffered I.O. opening a file without unbuffered uh, is basically just using the file writer without the buffered writer, okay? And so the print writer can be constructed di directly from the file writer class, but it's uh, not a good idea. And uh, uh, like I told you, uh, uh, unbuffered character uh, file input output is most likely if you see it in a in a simple example, it most it is most likely an under uh, you know uh, an an uh, an improperly designed code because under all normal circumstances you want to use buffered I/O. If you're using unbuffered I/O, like I told you, this is something really really special that you're trying to use. Most likely it's a file which is which can be accessed in both read and write mode by multiple processes perhaps re representing multiple users and that tells me that you're trying to design some kind of a database okay so if you really are in business of database design that's another story other than that you should be using buffered and not unbuffered IO just be aware of it uh, using unbuffered IO casually is just ignorance it's 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 inappropriate it's basically removing lots of optimization. Your, your program will be sometimes surprisingly slow if you use unbuffered I.O. So don't do that. Okay, so we're already seeing the examples of constructing um, uh, uh, these uh, uh, printer, print writer uh, from, uh, from um, uh, from all of these classes that we already discussed, but here's something is something new, right? Notice there is a new parameter when you use file writer constructor, and uh, there is a boolean, uh, boolean second boolean parameter. Obviously, this is an uh, over over uh, um, uh, um, of a written constructor which can take the second parameter, and when you use that the operation will switch to appending information. Remember how in my sample here, when I tried this, every time I changed my output to something new, it, the old data was erased and the new data was basically uh, 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 basically replaced, uh, replacing the old data. So, uh, but if I switch to, uh, like be careful here because uh, uh, you need to. Uh, uh, this is the file writer. Oh. Uh, 
this is the the file writer constructor okay and the, so the file the, the the file file writer constructor takes if you specify true as the second parameter here okay and once again I will change it to uh, I will change it to C++ programming right and create uh, multiple statements like that and and execute my little sample again updating this dummy dot text file if I take another look at it right here okay see how the old information was preserved and uh, the new information was simply appended to the file so in many instances you don't want to uh, you know erase the content of the file just just add new information to it so there you go it's very easy if you use that now if you use that um, uh, second parameter and set it to true in your file writer constructor but I will give you uh, um, more information about appending uh, appending is also your huge friend because appending is safe in multi-process multi-processing multi-user uh, uh, environment because the operating system guarantees that all appending operations are transactional in other words uh, it, it, there will be no case that one user is attempting to append the information and at the same time another user is also trying to append that information the operating system anytime you open a file in append mode guarantees that the appends will will succeed both uh, you, you know more than one appends attempts uh, at the same time all will succeed because the operating system will say if you use buffered IO if you use append mode then if you do that multiple for instance it's you can create an application and it could be a server-side application multiple users may try to use your application and and your entire application can keep appending records to the log file right so you can for instance register that a user just logged in another user tried to try to execute uh, a particular report you know generate a report and all that you can log and you can log multiple users and this is guaranteed to be safe appending to files is your huge huge uh, uh, friend okay just remember that uh, appending to the files is safe and preferred anytime uh, that you need to grow your file remember that uh, you know you could use like low level input output try to open the file reposition the file pointer to the end of that file it's all wrong don't do that always open file for appending whenever you can if really that's what you need to do to just add more information at the end of the file